What's up YouTube? It's James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this Wednesday night. I'm doing pretty good myself. Earlier I did a video of a, a situation that took place in Indonesia at a soccer game where 125 people or more were killed in a riot just because the favorite team lost a soccer match. Okay, And I talked about how the madness has been ramped up. You know, not only in this country, but all over the world. It's like I said in that video, anytime you get a death toll that rivals, <laughs> topples the death toll of a recent hurricane, like Hurricane Ian, that just took place in Florida. You understand? In a soccer match game, 125 people or more get killed, more so than a hurricane. Hey something is wrong just like in this particular story right here this woman right here that goes by the name of Faitha I guess flirting with danger shocking motive for woman 21 who killed younger sister by stabbing her in the heart four times before calling cops you see what I'm talking about a recent situation that took place all over the world that they told people they must get in order to live. You understand what I'm saying? Let's get into this story right here. This madness. A Florida woman stabbed her sister to death when she found out they had been flirting in private messages. A new report has revealed 21-year-old Faith of Marzan allegedly killed her little sister, 20 years old, same of Marzan, and this is, uh, I guess, Faitha right here looking crazy. You know what I'm saying? On some shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, it says here, police say the murder occurred on September 26th at 4.30 a.m. AM in the bedroom they shared in their parents' Orlando home. According to the Orlando uh, Sentinel, Faitha learned that her long-distance boyfriend of five years has been trading messages with her sister through a video game called Valorant, okay? Uh, they often played together. She was reportedly furious when she found out that her boyfriend told Sema he was in love with her, okay? So this was some serious, you know, jealousy. You see what I'm saying? So she got mad at her sister over a long time distance relationship she don't even see this guy that much you see what i'm saying and she felt the need to take her sister's life behind this see this is what i'm saying about the crazy shit. makes me wonder if they took the venom okay to continue faith has said her sister sema had been trying to steal her boyfriend for the past year faith recently found out that her boyfriend would flirt back with sema and told her that he loved her. The Orange County arrest affidavit states, Faitha said she spoke with Sema and her boyfriend on multiple occasions about how she felt about the relationship they had. Faitha said Sema never respected her feelings. Faitha then purchased a dagger, not dagger style knife set from Amazon two weeks before the stabbing and hid the weapon in her closet until everyone in her home was asleep. She allegedly pulled out the hidden knife and stabbed her sister in the heart three to four times in their shared bedroom, police said. Um, so this is premeditated. You plan to kill your sister about this man. Premeditated murder is what this is. And to add even more to the situation, for all faith and news, this fool right here. For all she know, this dude probably was messing around with somebody else wherever he was, you see. Just crazy, you know. Now, here it says, admitting to the crimes, Faith told police officers that she stabbed her sister three to four times. She is currently being held in Orange County Jail without bond, you know. Just like that. Sister gone behind somebody that uh, she don't even hardly see. The one who killed her, her sister. You don't even hardly see this guy. It's not like y'all was married. You just had no right 
sitting up here looking like a damn squirrel, you understand, to kill your sister over somebody that, like I said, more than likely was fooling with somebody else and you ain't even married to. That's ridiculous. You understand? But again, like I said, the madness here all over the world and in this country is on steroids. There's no reasoning, man, whatsoever. People are doing some of everything. You understand what I'm saying? So, again, like I said in the video earlier, people, watch y'all backs. Watch who you're dealing with. Watch who you got in your circles. You understand? If you got past discretion with people who wigged out on you behind bullshit, you know, uh, for little or nothing, and you got reoccurring problems with these folks, you ain't really never can't get along, you can't relax around them, and I'm talking about relatives. Go ahead and cut them off, you understand, and keep them away from you, and you stay away from them, and then, you know, we don't have to worry about situations like this taking place, because the way it's going now, hey, anything can jump off. You can't take nothing from granted, especially dealing with people who have always warned you that these things can happen because of relationship problems, you know, whatever the deal may be, it's better to cut them off, you know. But I want you guys to tell me what you think about this particular situation right here. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, views, and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And people, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.